Noble gas notation is an easy way to write the electron configuration for a particular element without spending too much time or wasting too much energy. The noble gases are over here in group 8. Every single one of them is a noble gas. They are called noble gases, um, actually I don't know why they're called noble gases, but they all have 8 valence electrons and that's the important thing. So. Uh, let's talk about how we would normally write the electron configuration for, I don't know, sodium, right here, number 11. Normally we would say 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1, and then we would stop. But that takes a lot of time and it takes up a lot of space. Noble gas notation is a way to take a shortcut. Instead of writing all that, you just look at the closest noble gas that comes before it. In this case, it would be neon. What do I mean by comes before it? I mean the atomic number is literally before the element that you're trying to draw your notation for. So, for example, if I'm doing sodium, again, number uh, 11, the noble gas that comes before it is neon because neon is number 10 and sodium is, is number 11. I can't pick argon because argon is after it, krypton is after it, xenon is after it, uh, radon is after it. Helium is also before it, but I want the one that's directly before it, which is neon. So all you do is you put that noble gas in brackets like this, just the symbol, neon, and then you say, okay, after neon, what do I have to do to get to sodium? After neon comes 3s, and sodium is the first one, so it's 3s1. So it's sort of like a math addition. It's like saying, start with neon, and then add 3s1, and that's how you find sodium. Let's do another example. How about oxygen? The noble gas that comes before oxygen is helium. So I put helium in brackets. The noble gas that comes after oxygen would be neon and argon and krypton and xenon and radon and all that stuff. But we just want the one that comes right before it, helium. And after helium, what do I have to do to get to oxygen? Well, after helium comes the 2s block, and then I gotta walk across the street and do the 2p block. So first we have the 2s block, both of them, 2s2, and then we walk across the street to the p block, and we have 2p, now we gotta do our counting, oxygen is the fourth element, so it's 2p4. So all we're saying here is start with helium, then add 2s, 2p4, and you will find your element. Let's try it a different way. How about I give you the noble gas notation if we can see if we can figure out what it is. How about uh, let's do neon and then three and then I'm excuse me uh, yeah three s two. 3p1. What this means is start with neon and then from there do 3s2, 3p1. So it would be aluminum. Let's do another one like that. I'm going to start with neon again and then let's say 2s2. Two, excuse me, 3s2, I keep doing that, 3s2, and then 3p5. Uh, so you say, okay, start with neon, then go 3s2 and 3p5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that would be chlorine. So that's your answer. So all you're doing is 
instead of writing out the whole thing, you're just getting a head start. And you're getting the head start in, f in the form of one of these normal gases. You say, all right, instead of starting from the beginning, let's start with one of these and then just go from there. And the only reason is to save a little bit of space. I hope this helps.